Hey guys, got another video here for you. This one's on how to update Windows offline. Now, if you're an IT tech, you'll know that updating Windows does take some considerable amount of time. And obviously you're gonna be coming to the point where you need to rebuild the operating system and format the machine and put all these, all these updates back on. So I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way of getting around this. It's called WSUS Offline Update. You can come to this website here and hit the download version 7.3 at the moment this guy always updates it so if you do find the tool useful donate and give him some of your money because he does put a lot of work in to keep this up to date to help us out so all you need to do is hit this here and save this to your desktop I've already done mine and what this is going to allow you to do is download all the updates for all the operating systems and office now you can take those updates to the customer and you won't have to download them all on site and stuff like that and it's going to save you a load of time and trouble because not everyone's got fast broadband that's the thing you've got to take that into account so as you can see here we have got the program here and all I'm going to do is hit the update generator and click run and this is our program all we need to do here is select what we want to download for now and then burn them to an ISO or we can actually put them onto a USB flash drive now as I said this does Windows XP, Server 2003, 64 bit of XP and also Vista, Windows 7 and 64 bit versions. It also does all the offices here as you can see, 2003 Service Pack 3 right the way down to 2010. So this is really going to save some time. We can also do the .NET framework and also Windows Defender definitions. Microsoft Security Essentials, you can include the service packs and all that sort of good stuff. So let me go back to the Windows part. I'm going to click on the Windows 7. Now I'm just going to do the Windows 7 bit here. And then I'm going to create my ISO. I'm going to put the .NET framework in. I'll, I won't include the uh, Windows Defender definitions in this one. I just want to download this and show you how it works now once you've got all this selected all I need to do here is select start this will open up a little prompt box and uh, once that starts downloading it does take some time because you've got to remember it's downloading all the uh, patches security patches and definitions everything else if you was doing all that and it will take some considerable time now if you know you've got fast broadband speeds you can do this off-site and have all this prepared ready so once you go to the customer you'll have it all done so it will save you a lot of time you can just do it there and then now as you can see this is downloading from the Microsoft server so as you can see up the top download Microsoft.com it is coming off the Microsoft server so it is all safe okay that's just verifying now all the updates as you can see start to verify them once that's all finished it will create the ISO image and we'll see the outcome of our downloads okay it's nearly finishing off now and that's all done so you can now check a log file if you want to so I'm going to say no to that but you can check the log file and also if you wanted to go away and make yourself a cup of tea you could just shut down on completion and set it up like that so I'm just going to drop this down to the taskbar here and have a look inside our folder now inside our ISO folder here we should have an ISO image now obviously there's only one in here and that's only 947 megabytes but if I had loads of other options that I downloaded as in office and stuff like that these would have all separate ISO images in here of what I've downloaded as in Windows 7 and, and whatnot okay so that's how you do the ISO and all you need to do is burn this ISO to a DVD and then you've just got all the updates ready and you I'll show you the actual interface once you've got that burned off because of what I'll do now is take this tick out here and I will actually go and make a USB one so what I want to do is create a, a directory 
So I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to keep it on the desktop here. I'm going to make a new directory. I'm going to call this Windows Offline Update. That'll do. So once we've got that there, what I'm going to do next is click Start. And we'll leave it as the uh, Windows 7 again, just as it is. And click Start. And this will start the updates for the USB flash drive. And what I'm doing here really is putting them into a folder and I'll show you what it looks like once that's all completed. It shouldn't take too long because we've done a lot of the download already. Okay, so that's now all completed. I'm going to say no to the log file again and I'm just going to drop this down here. Okay, so if I move this over to here now, Windows Offline Updates, this is the folder I created earlier and open that. You can see that it's created a load of files in here and this is what's going to be on your USB flash drive, okay? So if I click on the update installer and run this, you'll see under Windows uh, Vista and 7 server, you have manually resumed the installation of the updates. After the service pack installation, a mandatory, mandatory reboot will be needed. Click OK here, and this is what you'll get presented with once you boot up to the CD or the actual USB drive and you can actually install all the stuff here and start the installation process by putting the ticks into what you want okay and it's as simple as that so that's how you do Windows updates offline and get all that data that your all the security updates that you need for your customers and it will save you a heap of time trust me so I hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and show your support and rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now